Okay, it's the nighttime feeding. They are peppy. Look at these guys go. So here's what we have. I have neem in the water. Uh, neem has been proven by poultry people to have an antibiotic effect, which is natural. And that's what's in the water. After I clean the jug with soap and water thoroughly, I change the treatment. All of the water always has treatment. Whether it be ACV, oregano oil, neem, probiotics, etc. I treat it. Look how peppy they are. It is 7.21 p.m. They are going to be allowed 10 more minutes to eat. But look at these guys. I mean, seriously, just look at them. Look how peppy they are. And that second homer right there is the one that came back after nine, nine days. He's about 70 days old, maybe 75 days old. He's gonna jump up right now. He's ready to jump up. He's behind a, a little older homer that uh, always comes back from the tosses. This guy, this flash head, I call him Center Street. I had a homer I called Center Street because I took him to Center Street. Uh, in Manhattan from all the way up to 142nd Street and Broadway. And that was a big deal for us when we were kids. There goes the guy, he just went up. There he goes. Uh, he's a top shelf guy. So, look at these nuts. Look at them. And uh, there goes a strawberry that, uh, there goes another strawberry that has a beautiful little strawberry tip at the end of his white lights. That's the uh, saddle, corn, the grizzles, red danish or mottled. I got my white bar, uh, splash head black check, <laughs> I guess that's what you would call them. With all these names they have today. And then uh, there goes my, uh, my uh, high flyers, my blue past high flyers, those little white ones there. This one's a homer though. This, one, this one's a big white rooster homer, I call him. He comes back from everywhere as well. And uh, there goes my firstborn on the outer right hand side of that perch. He's my firstborn that has been coming back from every place. And that whole little group on that perch, is, they're, they're, that's a great little group. There goes my uh, white grizzled homer, baby. He's been through a lot. He's gotten attacked by, uh, by a falcon. He's been forced to fly. He doesn't like to fly as much as the other homers, but uh, he comes back in dire stress not every time. But look at these guys. These guys love coming up here to the top of the section. And uh, this is the guy that came back after nine days. Look at that beautiful grizzle. So it's like a silver grizzle with some almond in it. It's like a silverish, right? Hard to tell because these pigeons are so mixed. And we're not like the Europeans that have these perfect uh, pigeons. We, we, we allow ours to do their thing. Look at that. Look at that Budapest high flyer over there. That white print and then there's like that one I would call a Danish the one with more black to white there's a little black checker next to him this is my red homer who's been falcon and he got away from the falcon made it back he's not afraid to go back out always the first one to go back out flying machine he is I'm gonna show you two special guys that I have here these are two uh Yellow danishes, they're starting to mate up, and I'm gonna get some beauties out of them. Yep, yep, those guys are gonna get some beauties. They're, they are like a perfect specimen. And uh, okay, so stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the subscribe notification button, and don't forget to make a nice comment. And if you don't make a nice comment, I'm gonna leave it there anyway, because if you're a troll, that's your problem. Have a great day. Don't forget to smile and I'll be right back at you.